Did you know that there's a bean called the dragon tongue bean, but it doesn't come from Asia? I believe it or not, this bean comes from the Netherlands. The dragon tongue bean is also known as the dragon lingerie or the merville de pimente. This is an 18th century bean from the Netherlands, which quickly spread to England and France. But now these beans are grown all across the Americas. The dragon tongue bean can't tolerate frost. For that reason, it should be planted well after the final frost of spring. This Dutch wax bush bean is a versatile bean that can be consumed raw when young or shelled when fully mature. This is one bean that looks unique to all others. Pods tend to be a scattered mix of whiter creamish and magenta. The beans inside are a mix of a white and spotted purple. As you can see with my garden here, they're very easy to spot despite having long grass growing throughout my bean bushes. You didn't see that. So if you don't weed your garden all that well, you can still find these beans. Midsummer through fall is when these beans ripen. Maybe there's something you can find at a farmer's market. I personally grew mine and they weren't difficult to grow at all. Out of the 26 different rare varieties of beans I grew, these were among the most prolific to a point where I actually grew them again the next year. Because, well, there's nothing better than fresh beans. It's recommended when consuming these in their young state that the full pod and beans are steamed and then cooled in an ice bath to preserve their crisp texture. Sometimes they're added to salads for their color or battered and deep fried. They can keep for about five days after harvesting. So once again, fresh beans. I found these beans to be a little more neutral in taste, somewhat like a lima bean, nothing overpowering or distinct about them. I have seen some accounts of this bean being said that they have a powerful, incredible flavor. So possibly a difference in climate or the soil growing them. For me though, I just found them to be quite neutral. They're great to add to basically anything and they didn't overpower any of the dishes I added them to. Regardless, they are rich in vitamin A, C, K, calcium, iron, selenium, potassium, manganese, and folate. If you like trying weird bean varieties, let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and until next one, have a great day.